is an HR guy working on a large manufacturing company. He's also working more than 1,000 kilometers away from his stay-at-home wife and kids. Unfortunately, business is not very good. And one day, his manager comes to see him and tells him, you know, Glenn, we're going through very tough times and uh, unfortunately, the company will have to lay off a number of people. And that includes you. So Glenn is absolutely thunderstruck and uh, uh, very sad. However, his manager tells him, you know, there might be an opportunity. But it's not really HR. It's more supervising a technical team on the ground, on the field. So Glenn uh, doesn't really have experience in that. Uh, however, he accepts the position. He is sent to manage his team, to supervise his team, and has essentially no training and very little experience. Moreover, Glenn is in his 20s, and this is a team of all the guys who will probably resent that he didn't go through the typical career milestones in order to get this kind of position. In other words, he's starting this job without the respect of the team. When Glenn arrives at his team the first day, there are 20 people sitting around idle. So Glenn asks them, but why are you not doing the work? And they answer him, uh, you know, boss, uh, before we can start working, an electrician has to come and do a check activity. Unfortunately, you forgot to call the electrician, so we can't do that. It's a safety procedure and a union mandated procedure. So Glenn is, of course, uh, very annoyed and very frustrated. He calls the electrician shop. No answer. Then he decides to go there has to take a small car for that because the manufacturing area is very large. And unfortunately, when he gets there, you can, see that, you can see that there are many other emergencies they have to deal with and they're not going to answer him anytime soon. So Glenn decides to go back to his team and do this check activity by himself, which he's not supposed to do, so that his team can start its day's work. Thanks to that, the team can do its work normally and finish the day's activities. However, without surprise, at the end of the day, the electricians call him and tell him, you couldn't do that. So now you have a grievance from the union and you also have a fine that you have to pay out of your team's budget. What also happens is that the most senior guys of his team comes in his small office and tells him, uh, Glenn, why did you do that? And Glenn answers, Truthfully, well, I did that because it was the right thing. I didn't want the team to be idle and not doing its work and then potentially being blamed. I'd rather do it myself and taking the hit. And through that, Glenn, earns, Glenn earned his team's respect. He also sees this moment to show vulnerability. And he tells the guys, you know guys, you might have noticed I'm not really qualified for this job. I come from HR, they propose me that, I have wife and kids at, ho at home, I'm the only one in the family earning some income. However, if you help me, I will learn everything I need and I will always, always put the team above myself. So what do you think? And the guys agree. In the next weeks, months, they coach him, they help him and they become together a high performing team and a happy team. This little story actually shows the four key ingredients of authentic leadership. First, self-awareness. From the start, Glenn is very clear-minded about what he knows, what he doesn't know, his strengths and weaknesses. And thanks to that, can take decisions, can make decisions. Which brings us to the second criteria, courage. Glenn has the courage to make a tough decision, to take on this position, knowing that it will be difficult to get into the shoes of this kind of role. But also the courage to show vulnerability. Being vulnerable, many people think, is more like an act of weakness. But actually, in an agile organization with authentic leadership, it is an act of courage when it's used appropriately. 
Third, Glenn shows empathy. From the very first day, he understands how his team sees him and what they expect of him. And fourth, last but not least, selflessness. Glenn showed is willing to put his team's well-being above himself. And that is an act that earned him the respect of his team. So you might think, okay, but this is a nice story, but who really benefits, right? Well, everyone benefits. Think about it. Glenn becomes a better leader and increases influence earning the respect of his team and potentially other people, managers or teams that can see that happening. Thanks to Glenn, the team becomes more performant and we can also expect happier. And finally, of course, the organization is better off too. So both Glenn as a leader, his team and the organization, the three of them are better off thanks to Glenn uh, becoming an authentic leader.